Hey there, Andy with Crankshaft Culture. And uh, today we're putting on a trailer hitch. Who doesn't like a trailer hitch? On to our cross track. Let's get started. So one of the first things I like to do when I get a product that has a whole bunch of fasteners and things is lay everything out and make sure that we've got everything that we need. In this case, I went through and made sure we've got everything, and we do. So what we are putting on today, by the way, is an Eco Hitch by Torque Lift. So this is a U.S.-made hitch that's going to go on to our cross track. So one of the cool things about this, other than the fact it's got a bunch of recycled material, is that the actual receiver part, which you can see here is this separate part, it goes into the hitch in sort of a vertical orientation and it's removable. So you don't have to see this, this hanging down from the bumper all the time. You can actually unbolt this and you'll be a nice, you'll have a nice clean look uh, without having to see that hitch. It also will help with things like departure angle if we were doing any off-roading with our Subaru. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first step to getting this on the car is going to be removing the muffler, in this case we have our nameless uh, executive axle back, so we're going to pop that guy off so we can have more access to get to the hitch itself. To gain a little bit more access underneath the car, we've put the vehicle up on ramps, and then up front we have made sure we put a wheel chalk up here, just for safety factors. The safety first, usually. As you can see, we've got the muffler off. Now that frees up some room underneath here. To work and get the hitch bolted on up. The next thing you're going to want to do is pull out two of these three plugs. You're going to want to pull out the forward-most one and the rear-most one. You can leave the center one in. These are going to be located on either side of the muffler. There's two sets. Uh, you can either use a flathead screwdriver or you can just kind of pull them out with your fingers. I tried both methods. They both work equally as well. So next we're going to take this bolt fishing line as they call it or bolt fishing wire and we're going to uncoil this and we're going to run it from the front hole to the back hole and that's going to allow us to uh, put the hardware up into the unibody up into the chassis here so we can attach the trailer hitch you want to fish this wire through the front hole and have it exit the rear hole uh, the coiled end is at the rear now here's what you're going to be putting into the chassis. So you've got this big bolt, you've got the washer with the teeth on it, and then you have a, a metal plate. So yes, all of this is going to be fished up through here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the coiled end of the bolt fishing wire and thread that bolt onto there and kind of loop everything onto it. I'll show you another photo here. So this is how you will thread the bolt onto that coiled end of the fishing uh, bolt fishing wire. So we're actually going to be installing this on the front hole. This is the one that's closest to the rear bumper. And basically we're going to put all the works onto this line and we're going to pull it from the rear hole and have it seat in the front hole. Here's a video, you'll see what I mean. I should make note, it does matter which components you put onto the bolt fishing line first for the front hole or the hole closest to the bumper uh, you're going to want to make sure that that washer is on the bolt and then you're going to want to take the metal plate put the wire through that hole and then you're going to want to thread the bolt onto the bolt fishing wire so we'll take the coil end and we'll take the uh, plate washer, we'll put that around here, and we're going to go ahead and push this up into this hole. It simply fits in this hole right up through here, like so. Okay, so now we've got this coiled in. I'm going to grab the bolt with the internal washer on we're going to actually thread this on to the coiled end here okay once this gets threaded on it doesn't need to be threaded on very far but then we'll push this up through and bring it down to this hole with the plate washer so we've got it started here and then this just gets threaded on like so we'll thread onto the uh, coil like this and then we'll bring it through 
Okay, so we've got our plate already up in the hole. You can see it in there. We've got our bolt threaded on to the end of the coil. Now it's a matter of simply bringing this forward up through this hole. Let's see if I can get this the first try. Hold on. Okay, so our bolt is up in there. Now, look at that drops right down in. Very cool, so simple. Now again, what you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna to wanna to uncoil your uh, wire from this bolt and then reuse it on the back where you'll go bolt first with the washer and then internal washer and then the plate washer. All right, here we go. So this is the back hole. We're gonna go in bolt first along with that washer. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure we put this guy, in. let's go ahead and put this in a little farther, like so, okay. Now we're gonna take our uh, flat washer, our uh, square washer, and we're gonna go ahead and put this in here, just slides on in. Now watch this. Boom, super simple. Man, this works so well. Now just unthread your coil and we'll move on to the next step. Now remember friends, that's just one side. You have to do this again on the other side. Be very gentle with the bolt fishing wire because you have to use it on all four holes. All right, now comes the fun part. We're gonna try to get this hitch onto those four bolts. Those four bolts are hanging down from the chassis. They're gonna to go to in that side, of course, to in this side, of course, and we're gonna use this hardware. We've got a flat washer, a lock washer, and a, a nut, and we're gonna go ahead and secure that. Now the fun part is, is uh, I'm gonna to try to just do this by myself, and we're gonna see if it actually works. There's nothing. Anyway, so let's see if this is doable with one person. If not, I might have to get an extra set of hands. Let's fumble, shall we? Because if I like doing something, it's doing stuff the hard way. We don't want to push the hardware up in to the body. That'd be bad. Might have to either get a second set of hands or a jack out here. So uh, let's let's see how this goes. Yeah, definitely gonna need somebody else to help out. So I'm gonna use my jack. That'll help support the weight. And I think that that's probably going to be a better and safer way to go. So we'll have my assistant come out here, which is also my wife. And then uh, we'll jack this up and hopefully get this into place without it falling or hitting us or us hitting the pavement or whatever. Anyway, good talk. What we've done here is we've taken the jack and we've jacked the hitch up into the position here. I know the lighting is not super great here, but we've jacked it up in position with my lovely assistant here. Hello. So we've jacked this up in the spot. We've kind of held it in position and then I went ahead and installed at least one of these setups. This is going to be a lock washer, excuse me, a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. And we've done that on the other side as well. Having the jack here helps keep things in position. And now I'm going to go ahead and put these, uh, the rest of this hardware on the backs. Uh, we're going to want to scooch everything as far forward as we can to, and then we'll go ahead and torque things down. All right, so fun fact, read the directions. I didn't read the directions the first time as thoroughly as I thought I did. So when we're going up here, it actually requires two flat washers per bolt. And I only used one. So this is two flat washers, not just one. One back here, two here. Battery about to die on the headlamp. But anyway, make sure you put both flat washers on both those bolts and then torque them down to 75 foot pounds. Okay. So we've got these bolts, these two, whoo, and these two all torqued down. To 75 foot pounds high and we can continue our installation semi pro tip here oh. hold on a little bit of silicone up on these hangers will help everything go back in really easy uh, it helps to get it in the actual hole but anyway a little bit of silicone will help 
your exhaust hangers go in much easier. Exhaust fits with plenty of room along the hitch, no interference, and uh, we're just about done. So here's what makes this hitch interesting. You can see it's almost like a drop hitch, right? But what's going to happen is that is the receiver end, and this is going to go into it. So it all secures using this, uh, this bolt here, it's a 5 8 inch bolt, and then the lock washer and the washer. So uh, we will go ahead and show you how that works right now. So here you can see the actual hitch installed, bolted up to the car. So we've got our receiver here, or whatever you want to call this part. And this part actually will go into here, like so. And then the whole works gets secured using the hardware down here. So we're going to go ahead and screw that in from the other side, and we'll have our hitch completely in place. So we've got this lined up here. We've got the actual drop part that goes out the back. So you'll take your 5 8 bolt with the washer and lock washer, and that just slides into this hole. And then the hole works, just threads in to the other side over here. So we'll go ahead and secure that, and we'll, we, we will be done again. Hi. So we've got a 15 16 socket on the end of this and we're driving it through you can see it coming out the side here now you have your receiver down here so now the nice thing about this is this whole thing is removable if you don't want this here at all you can just undo that bolt with your 15 16 socket and just be done and not have it so it's a nice feature plus it'll offer a really clean look that's 112 foot pounds uh, on the bolt that goes through here. Sorry about the lighting. It's kind of not great right now. And you are done.